Everybody run I don't got no uh, pick for that. Uh, um, I'm real cool with Regis, so uh, uh, hopefully uh, Regis can do something to get the victory. JoJo and uh, Loma were able to land some left hands on Devin in that southpaw stance. Do you think Regis will be able to do the same, or Devin, you know, getting better and he won't be as easy to hit with those kind of shots? I think Devin might feel better at uh, 140. Uh, I think he probably feel a little bit better. Um, as far as the weight, and he's not uh, sucking himself down. So um, maybe he feels better at 140, and maybe he do beat Regis, but he do um, have a little trouble with Southpaw, to look like. If, if Pro Grace won that fight, are you like, I still want to fight Haney anyways because of, it's got personal now, or you're moving on at that point? Uh, I don't know. It, it don't matter to me. I fight anybody. So um, as long as the money and the business and everything makes sense, uh, sign me up. Do you think the 25% offer support from Devin was a way to avoid you? Like, what if he would have accepted it? Does that fight happen? No, I don't think that the fight happens if I accept it. But, I mean, I I can't say nothing about it. It's, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, I think that's a duck because of the fighter that I am, because of the accolades that I got in the sport of boxing. I'm not just no regular fighter moving up to 135. I'm a fighter who conquered the title at 26, 130. So, um, I thought that offer was bullshit, but um, I ain't really say no to it. I wanted to keep going and see uh, what what else can I get? What what can the WBC demand? And, and I don't know. It could have been the same thing, or it could have been uh, less or more. So uh, you just never know what it would would have been. But um, he decided to move up. Why do you feel that it wouldn't have gone through, even if you did say yes? What what do you, what else could have stopped it? I don't think that they really wanted to fight me. Like deep down inside, I don't think that they want to get in the ring with a, a fighter like me right after the performance that they had with, with Machenko. I don't think that their confidence level was super high. But why why wouldn't you then just kind of call their bluff and be like, all right, let's see? Because I told you I went another direction. Right, true. I went to the, the WBC, WBC right. and just enforced my mandatory, and I tried to do it that way, but. Uh, at the end of the day, like like I said, I can't force nobody to fight me. So, what, what is the latest with that? Because he pensioned them that he wants to keep his belt and move up for this fight. He told me something they By told him that back he has down. to. Yeah, they told him that he has to move back down. So, what's the latest with that? Uh, like I said, I don't know that you gotta ask him them them questions. I can't tell you what he's doing. Uh, I can just tell you what I'm doing. And my world uh, will fight anybody. Did the WBC tell you anything? Like, okay, yeah, we'll. I don't know, did you get any answers from the WBC as far as what's the latest? Are, are you going to get a title the same, shot? The same answers that y'all got are the same answers I got. Um, he's going up and he may come back down, and if he do come down, it's 50-50. Shakur, -50. do you like being the most avoided guy? Nah, I don't like it. Why? Because, once again, I'm a competitive person. I like to fight. I want to fight in the biggest fights. I want to fight against the best and push myself. Um, I don't want to fight mediocre competition, so at the end of the day, I don't like fighting mediocre. Uh, now, what I will say, Edwin is not a mediocre uh, fighter. He's a good fighter. He's a puncher. Yeah, and he's a good movement. He's a good boxer, too. Are you surprised that everybody moved away from 35 as soon as you entered the division? I don't, I don't know, man. You got to ask no people that question. Uh, yeah, it's very surprising because I kept hearing how uh, 135 was the toughest division in boxing. And all of the names is at 135, but um, right now it's only two names. Well, mainly two names, two big names that's supposed to be the big fight. You think you would ever circle back to Lomachenko? I want to. I want to. I don't. I don't get why not. Uh, I think that that would be an amazing fight. Um, I probably I beat the shit out of. Him. Well, what you what do you say when people were asking why were why were you disrespectful with Haney and Martin but not Lomachenko? How do you what, do you address that or? It's two different situations. Uh, with Haney, he did some goofy shit. I ain't even about to even like give y'all all the goofy shit. That's a whole long ass story. With Frank, Frank spoke on my situation. Frank went in the media. They asked him a question about. Me and uh, Devin Haney and Frank went, in, went on air and said, oh, if I was Shakur, I would take uh, the offer that was presented. And did it. So he spoke on a situation that had nothing to do with him. And then once you did that, I felt like it was disrespect. So now I got to disrespect you. Hey, Chan, when, when and where, when and why did your relationship change with Devin Haney? Man, I, like I said, I ain't trying to keep even talking about all that shit. I think that... Uh, a lot of people don't know 
the insides of it. They don't understand that. Uh, it's not me. I don't start nothing with nobody. I'm just somebody, okay, once you start with me or once you do something to me, I, I, I felt a type of way and came back at that person. But at the end of the day, I ain't about to get y'all the whole rundown. But I never started nothing. Though. I never made it the way that it is now. But now it's it's where it's at and it's up. You, you think you can rectify that? Nah, I'm, I'm cool. I don't want to <laughs> rectify nothing. I'm straight.